So let's discuss about Maven repositories. A uh, repository uh, in Maven is used to store the build artifacts and dependencies of varying types. Now there are different types of repositories. We have already discussed uh, local repository, but let's revise what we have discussed. So local repository, um, it's a folder in our local where uh, Maven stores all its build artifacts and dependencies, right? And it's placed under .m2 slash repository folder. So whenever Maven builds a project, it looks for its dependencies in the uh, local repository. If it is not able to find, it goes to the central repository and uh, even it doesn't find there, then it goes to the remote repository and uh, downloads that dependency and stores it in your local repository. So this is the whole process, how Maven uh, resolves all the dependencies for your project, right? Now, the first thing which you need to make sure is your project, all your projects are pointing to the right local repository uh, because uh, it happens sometimes that uh, you have gone and changed uh, your local repository in your Maven settings for your project, but for your other project, you have kept it as the default location. Now, what will happen is um, Maven, if it is not able to find this dependency, it is again going to download it, right? So you're going to waste time and resources if you have not set the same uh, repository for all your projects. So it is going to download for each and every project and then it defeats the purpose of using Maven, right? So I would always recommend you to go ahead and uh, do a quick check of your Maven settings for your project. And for this uh, Hello World application, so if you can see the local repository is pointing to uh, .m2 slash repository, and you can very well override it and uh, choose a different folder, but make sure, as I said, uh, it's the same for all the projects, right? Now let's go back. Now we talk about a local repository, now remote repository. So here uh, it's a repository where all the different uh, dependencies which are available from different organizations are uh, stored or kind of kept here, right? So one of those, one of them is ambientrepository.com where we find most of our dependencies, right? Whenever we are doing any project, we go to this site and we search for our uh, dependency, right? And you will find almost 90% of the dependencies here. Uh, there are few dependencies which you may not find here. And for those, uh, you have to depend on some other kind of dependency like you can try external dependency or jar, but you will find most of the dependencies uh, in this repository, right? So this is a kind of remote repository which is given by Maven. And uh, then the third type is the central repository. Now this is also a kind of remote repository because it is accessed via URL. And uh, if you, sorry, if you have a look here, so, at this URL, you'll find uh, this is the central repository maintained by the Maven communities, right? So it has also got a lot of, uh, lot of dependencies. So these are the different types of repositories. Uh, in the next section, we will see uh, what is a repository manager.